I just remember hitting the ground, waking up, seeing him, and then my heart started like seizing up and I stopped and I passed out. 20 year old Tobin Ashleman doesn't remember much of the night that he lost one of his best friends. 23 year old Jake Huggett in a motorcycle crash, a night that nearly cost him his own life too. A friend that was here, we were kind of getting into it, and so I needed to leave, like just get out of the house. And Jake's like, hey, let's go for a ride now. And I was like, all right. Ashleman and his friends were partying at his home on 26th Street in Sioux Falls when he decided to hop on the back of Huggett's bike, a decision he will always regret. All I know is he's had a few beers. I didn't, I wasn't with him like the whole night, so I don't know. Probably didn't more than enough to be drink, not to be drinking and driving. That's for sure. 20 minutes later, the fatal crash. I didn't know it was coming. I thought like we might like skid or something because we were going at that light pretty fast, but we, we kept going. I wish I would have known, but I know I keep telling myself I really couldn't do anything. Try not to blame anything on myself. 20-year-old Tony Ridgway is Ashleman's roommate and the lead singer of the band Close Clearance. Ashleman and Huggett were both a part of. He recalls what he remembers of that fatal night. I saw my roommate Tobin being put on the stretcher and into the ambulance. I saw his eyes moving so I knew he was at least okay at the time. But I looked at my other friend Jake and they right after I looked over there they pulled the sheet over his head and I just broke down. I just couldn't handle it anymore. For Ashleman, a valuable lesson was learned that night. A lesson learned a little too late. I definitely think it could have been prevented. I mean, we should have wore helmets. We should have just thought about, thought ahead of it before we did it. But yeah, we made a mistake. And while his wounds may heal, Ashleman says the memories of that night will never fade away. I mean, we both were there on the ground. And I don't know why, how come I got brought back, but he couldn't be. And that kind of haunts me a little bit, kind of sucks. A 20 minute ride that changed many people's lives forever. Laura Monteverdi, KDLT News, Sioux Falls.